Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Ashley McDowell. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The Department of Public Safety is searching for suspects involved in a theft in Chalankidza. Also tonight, a new platform is starting on the island that will help you get around. And a better way of recycling is being discussed with officials from Palau. In sports, tonight we remember a legend whose legacy lives on. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. phone you want now on the best network and a plan that gives you endless data on chat, social, and music apps. Tell your Docomo Pacific rep you want now with access. Docomo Pacific, better together. Some conditions apply. Hoffa Day, Tiruwami, and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. The Department of Public Safety is seeking your help in locating suspects involved in a burglary and theft that occurred at a residence in Chalankiza. According to DPS, a 911 call was made reporting someone had broken in through the window and stole multiple items. The resident told police the household members had just returned from a trip off island and noticed the window to the main bedroom was slightly open and the screen was cut from the frame. Items missing include a 50-inch flat screen TV, an Apple TV device, an Apple stainless steel watch band, an HDMI cable, a USB extendable lamp, and a roll of quarters. The case is ongoing and DPS asks if you have any information related to the burglary and theft in Chalankiza to call 911 or to remain anonymous, call the CNMI Crime Stoppers at 234-7272. A new platform is being launched in the month of September that makes getting around the island a lot easier. Do you need a ride to work, a ride to the grocery store, to see a friend or relative, or just a ride to anywhere on the island? Well, starting next month, that is about to be a lot easier to access as Digital Saipan is launching the island's first ever rideshare platform. Our dream is that we want to help the place that we live and love, and we want to make sure that everyone has safe transportation that they can count on the reliability of. It's called Island Ride, similar to the popular ride shares like Uber and Lyft, but specifically made for Saipan. We see that in the market that ride shares are growing. It's one of the fastest growing businesses around the world. We see many types of them. We see Didi in China. Grab in the Philippines that our Filipino residents would be familiar with, Lyft and Uber in the mainland United States and across many of the islands already. And is going to be accessed through an app just like the other popular rideshare programs. That it's a th what we'd call a three-legged app. Ours will eventually become a four-legged app. That you have an app for the drivers, an app for the passengers, and eventually we'll have an app for the market situations as well, whether that be restaurants, grocery stores, or furniture stores. And then the fourth leg, of course, goes through our server and our app so we can tie them all together. Robert says pricing for these rides will reflect the market. If there's, say, 30 cars on the road and two passengers, to attract drivers to get off the road and to go spend time doing else, the price will be essentially very, very low for the passengers. If there's 100 passengers requesting and three cars, of course, the price will 
raise to attract more drivers to get on the road so that the market will always match uh, the fleet of vehicles. And if you are searching for a full-time job or just a way to make some extra cash in your spare time, well, you're in luck because at this time, operators of Island Ride are searching for drivers. If you see our website, there will be a list of qualifications and requirements that we have. Of course, our main priority is on safety. So we want to see that every driver has insurance, particularly insurance that isn't just restricted to personal use. Um, covering even just the barest liability is fine for now. Um, we also want to see the drivers go through a background check, be vetted. We want everyone to be safe. We want them to know that our drivers are safe to get in the car with. We want the driver to further give us a copy of his driving record and his driving license. And if they've been on island for too short of time for a decent police clearance, we re three, under three years, we request three personal references that aren't related to them. Also, drivers must use their own vehicle that has to be in good condition and under five years old. And how's the pay, you may ask? Well, a large percentage of the income generated from the ride will go directly to the driver. The driver is, is one of our two key assets, the passenger being the other one. But because of that, we don't exist without our drivers. We give our drivers 80% of the share. We only take 20% to maintain software and, uh, and to uh, publicize the ride. If you are interested in becoming a driver for Island Ride, contact Robert Exley at 670-287-9758 or by email robert at digitalsaipan.com and check out their website at digitalsaipan.com. Robert says they hope to expand the service to delivery of food, groceries, items, moving, and much more, and even bring the service to the islands of Tinian and Rhoda. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell. Governor Ralph Torres is looking to bring a program to the CNMI that will address the solid waste issues we are facing. Here are the details. Solid waste is a major issue on the islands in the CNMI. From plastics to glass and cans, you see it lying around the island, on the side of the streets, and even making its way into the ocean, causing harmful effects to the marine life. Governor Ralph Torres is teaming up with the Koror State Governor Franco Gibbons from the Republic of Palau to kick off discussions of a new program that will better eliminate the solid waste from our islands. Last year, we sent some of the delegates to Koror to see the recycling program. Uh, fast forward, uh, the result came forward that this is something that uh, we should um, look into not just for environmental issues and, and protection and beautification of our island, but also opportunity to do uh, additional uh, opportunity for employment and uh, some of the products that uh, recycling um, can give back to the community. Uh, so uh, we invited uh, Governor Gibbons to come uh, with his delegation to show <coughs> us the program that they have in Kuror the challenges that they've uh, incurred throughout uh, what the last 13 years mm -hmm. uh, and also the success of what uh, the project uh, has offered the community. Our facility and our program and how it's uh, set up is just um, there's many ways of uh, you know recycling and um, uh, many uh, different uh, techniques and uh, uh, processes, but ours is uh, yeah, just one option for the governor and uh, the government of Saipan to uh, consider. It's a deposit refund system called container deposit legislation, where a monetary deposit is made on beverage containers at the point of sale. And when the container is returned to the redemption center, the deposit is partially refunded to the redeemer. Currently, 10 states from the mainland participate in the Container Deposit Law Program that gives incentive to the public to practice recycling. So I guess, I guess those two things that we can look at, either they charge you when you arrive, when the product arrived, or at the cashier, right? Uh, in Hawaii, um, they charge you when you buy a bottle of water. And you're right, when you talk about container, it doesn't matter if it's this much bottle, if it's plastic, uh, they charge you five cents plus one cent. Uh, same thing if it's bigger, they still charge you, but they charge you at the cashier. Uh, I think for us here, I think it's better to charge you up front when you, when these products arrive. Um, and then uh, either we do island-wide recycling bins 
uh, with, of course, where you pay or or go to go to the station and do that. The Republic of Palau has been in the practice of the Container Deposit Recycling Program since 2011, and Governor Torres is hoping to replicate many of these same procedures here. Importer pay to the ten cent to uh, to national government, like a funding source, and uh, people bring to the you know the depression center, they get so five cent each. Either it's a it, any kind of a size of a container, ne never mind small container, big container five cent, and uh, two point five cent operation cost for facility. Other two point five cent for national government environment funding, and the total is a ten cent. Just like looking at the program and uh, looking at some of the data that we have here, uh, and then creating our own as well. Uh, you know, the amount of glass that we have on island, and some, the amount of plastic. I'm sure that with the collaboration with uh, Coror and some of their uh, partners, I think this is something that <coughs> we might even have to uh, create a new program with each other. Governor Torres says they are hoping to kick off the program soon, making it just another way to not only beautify our island, but also improve the standard of living. Reporting for KSPN, I'm Ashley McDowell. For those living in the areas of Middle Road and Gualarai, prepare for some water service interruption tomorrow. According to the Commonwealth Utilities Corporation, the water service interruption is to allow CUC's contractor, AIC Marianas, to complete the installation of a new water line in MacArthur Drive. The interruption is expected to last from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., with restoration of water soon after. This is all part of CUC's Gualarai Water Line Replacement Project to produce a more reliable water system. For more information, contact CUC's Customer Call Center or monitor their Facebook page for the latest updates. Coming up, we head to the Public Library to check out a program that is wrapping up. Find out what it is after the break. Get the phone plan you're looking for at IT&E. Stay connected with the strongest, widest, and most reliable network in the Marianas. Stream, share, play, shop, and surf the web with super fast 4G LTE data. Whether you need just a few gigabytes of data to get by, or if you want to go further with unlimited data, there's a plan for you. You'll always get the best price. Visit any IT&E store or call us to learn more. IT&E. Explore your world. Jose and Pedro were born on the very same day. Jose liked to play sports. Pedro liked to play video games. Jose's favorite word was pass. Pass me the ball. Pedro's favorite word was pass too. Pass me the rice. Jose is retired and has both time and energy. His life is just beginning. Pedro has diabetes, hypertension, and gout. His life could soon end. Eat less, play more, live longer. Brought to you by PHI, the pharmacy you can trust. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. The Jotan Kizu Public Library Summer Outreach is finishing off with the Bookmobile Collaborative Summer Library Program. Each week they visit different parts of the island to give the children a little fun, excitement, and most especially education throughout the summer. Summer programs are very important for our community because it's a way for us to, when the kids are out of school, um, you know, a way to keep them busy a way to keep them active, uh, learning, reading. Kids that joined up our, into our summer program, they participated in um, science, technology, engineering, and arts and math related activities here. The theme for this year is Universe of Stories, 
And this week, the bookmobile will be at Francisco Mendiola Sablon Middle School in San Antonio. They did lots of different reading activities about space, and we learned lots of um, tech activities as well, and science-related activities. And we learned, we did lots of reading, so the kids who come here every day, they uh, do a lot of read-aloud activities as well, and they take home and they have reading challenges, so they have extra homework to do. So they, every kid is tasked to read um, like 20 books by the end each by the time our summer program ends. Right now, the library is able to calculate the amount of reading the kids have done throughout the Marianas. So, so far to date, um, the children of the summer program have read more than um, 500,000 minutes of reading. And that's across the CNMI because our summer program is not just on SciFan alone. Mm -hmm. um, it's also occurred in the Tinian Public Library as well as the Antonio um, Tiatelik Memorial Public libraries well in Rhoda. So we have other public library systems that also do the same program for the community. The summer program recently had their completion ceremony at the public library where they had a special guest presenting. Our guest presenter, special guest presenter for today was the uh, CNMI Customs K9 uh, unit and they came out here and they did a spectacular performance with uh, their dog Charlie um, and they demonstrated to the kids outside of the in front of the Joten Kisu Public Library about um, the importance of making sure that the drugs don't come into the CNMI. And Charlie found um, some drugs in some boxes that were hidden and in some bags that were hidden and the children got to see what goes on behind the scenes. They also had a special treat. So today we brought in some ice cream, packaged ice cream desserts for the children who participated in the activity this afternoon, courtesy of our Triple J Wholesale and Truckalo team. All that they do is important for the children. You know, they, they were here for a week, mm -hmm. so this is I think this is the weekend of, of that. Yeah. And you know, this is a good surprise for them, a good, good treat for them. And again, we're here for the community and, and to help the, the library and all others. Come on over and just sign up today. It's free. Um, you, it's a good way for your kids to learn and grow and just be empowered to. Um, you know, do something productive for the community. And this is a good way for them also to, you know, get some incentives. We have some, you know, special donations from our community partners. Um, we have school supplies, we have book bags, we have uh, free treats, like example, today, Dessert Day was sponsored by Triple J Real Estate Group. And um, other, we have, uh, we have special guest presentations as well. Just yesterday, we were at Regal Cinema um, watching Toy Story 4. Um, and those were made possible from generous donations. Coming up, one basketball team loses its starting backcourt within minutes. We'll have that story next in the Sports Report. Welcome to Marianas Medical Center. We've been taking care of you and your family since 1998. We offer preventive health care services, acute and chronic care for both adults and children. Food handlers, green cards, school and sports clearances. Greening in Marianas Medical Center, I'm offer for the total class in Sibishu, but I have a family and business here. We accept Medicaid, Medicare, and most private insurance plans, and we also accept individuals without any medical insurance. We're conveniently located in the JKR building on Beach Road, Garapan. Marianas Medical Center, quality health care for your entire family. Visit American Memorial Park, one of Saipan's leading visitor attractions. Open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The visitor center is located in Garapan, just a short walk from most hotels. This U.S. National Park honors 
the American and Marianas people who lost their lives in World War II during the Marianas campaign. Entrance is free. Take time to view the main film to learn about the Battle of Saipan and walk through the extensive and fascinating museum exhibits. Don't forget to stop by the museum gift shop which offers unique and exclusive merchandise. All proceeds are donated to the park's education program. Come discover the American Memorial Park. Buenas sports fans. Buenas sports fans, terrific action Saturday in the Kville gym until two starters went down and that constitute what's up in the Pacific Amusement Rollers Summer Youth Basketball League. Games all Saturday afternoon in the Cobleville gym, Saipan Basketball Central these days and the best place to showcase the latest in playing attire. At the top of the fashion list every year of course are shoes and socks like, like that. There's only one other pair like that in the universe. Shoes can make anyone look colorful, even gray people. Opening minute, rollers in home. White, yes, this is their gym. Tinian in black. The road team, actually called them the air team since they flew over on Star Marianas. Oops, Bobby Ray just overflew the runway. The honor of scoring the first point goes to Typhoon Aaron Borja. Tinian was in black, but Tyler Santos was in anti-black. Maybe the exact opposite of black. Matthew Richardson, the flip to Steve King in the corner for a rainbow three. Oh, what a colorful game on this gray day. Borja from the Mariana Trench, nothing but air. Mark Epity snatches the ball. The cameraman goes crazy. Mark scores while surrounded by three surprised rollers. Borja drives King with the deflection. After finding a black t-shirt, Santos inballs to Borja. Rollers get a technical for having only four players on the court. Why? Good reason. Keone Dela Cruz suffers a leg injury. He would not return. He's out for the month, according to his coach, Joe Diaz. Well, that play hurt the rollers on the scoreboard, too. Want to see some heads up basketball? Oh. Aaron goes in for the layup. Greg Santos says, forget about that idea. King says, okay, how about this idea? Richardson drives, he gets tripped up by Borja, slips a little, ooh, is that an omen of what's gonna come? Rollers inbounds, goes instead to Santos who takes a trip to the promised land. Richardson steps into the lane, draws three defenders to pass. To Irvin, the reverse falls off. Tinian comes away with it, and there's a Typhoon Bobby blowing by everyone. Rebound battle. Richardson picks up the loose ball, dishes to Devin Pangolin, and the fall away rattles out. Richardson follows with a off the rim. No. Oh, Matthew sprains his ankle and has to be helped off the court. Next man up, and that would be Irvin. And Derek Atelig on defense. More Irvin. Why doesn't anyone stop him? Bora says, a better question is, can anyone stop me? Because a three is worth more than two. He's got a point. Santos takes it strong to the rack, Jack. Oh. 
Greg Santos, the pull up, nothing but the bottom of the net. Typhoons blow down the rollers, 35 to 31. Today, our thoughts and prayers are with the family of someone who more than anyone else contributed to the institution of baseball here. The CNMI Sports Hall of Famer was also my friend. One year ago to the day, Saipan lost a legend, Francisco M. Palacios, through Tenko's lifelong dedication. Generations of ball players on Saipan got to know him, respect him, and admire him. He strung together the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way up to the 21st century, recording every baseball game played, producing the statistics that rises in baseball that elevates the game more than any other sport. More than numbers, his presence at the ball field lent a formality, a seriousness that elevated the game, that made it feel important. He was respected not only on his home island, but throughout Micronesia. No one here deserves to have a baseball field named after him more than Francisco M. Palacios. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Get your game in gear at Gold's Gym Saipan. Group exercise is a great way to get fit and then stay fit. For something high tempo, go for a ride with one of our instructors in our new spin room. Let's roll. Pilates improves flexibility, builds strength, and develops control and endurance in the whole human body. It also improves coordination and balance. And the Shake Cafe is a great place to stop by for a meal replacement or supplement. See you at Gold's Gym. All right, today's high 88, the heat index 100, the low 79, humidity 70%. Tomorrow, partly sunny, isolated showers, winds light and variable. High 89, low 79, seas 79 feet and falling. Sunrise tomorrow morning, 602, high tide at 642, low tide 201, sunset at 640. All right, thank Interesting you, Interesting story there, Ashley, on that uh, app. Yeah. I was going to ask you, have you ever used anything like that? I have. So when I used to live in Chicago, I didn't have a car there because I didn't need it, and I would use Uber and Lyft to get around the city. Mm -hmm. It was quick. You like it came it. right when you on the app called it. You know, you see the price before you get in the car, so you already know how much you're going to pay. They take it right out of your bank account. It's just convenient. Hmm. You don't have to pay any cash or nothing. It's all through the app. And yeah, wow. and you can pick if you want to share with someone too. I guess so if you want to share with a stranger. Saipan's <laughs> joining the rest of the world. <laughs> yeah. huh? Civilization. We're Here we come. Up. We're yeah. moving up. We're moving up. What an easier way to get around, you know, for those who need it. So I'm excited to see how it goes. For all sure. right. I'll, I want to see you try it out because I, I always drive myself everywhere. But. I might give it a try. I don't really need it, but there are, are a lot of people that do. Absolutely. So I hope that'll benefit a lot of us tonight. So. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your night. Tune in tomorrow night at 6. Good night.